How quick can snakes be? What does the most voracious crawler look like? What snake is a hundred times more dangerous than an alligator, despite its sizes? Now you'll learn and see everything. Smart Pizza is with you. In this edition, I'll tell you everything about the most dangerous and incredible reptiles in the world. I used to think that snakes were rather weak creatures that could only feed on much smaller animals. However, when I met McCoy's Taipan, my opinion of the crawling world changed. It turns out this snake is 100 times more dangerous than even an alligator, and you'll soon see why. Let's start with the fact that this snake lives in the deserts of Australia. Although the locals usually quickly get used to such strange creatures, McCoy's Taipan is still avoided. Firstly, it's quite large. An adult individual can reach 8 feet in length. Along with that, Taipan has a terrific camouflage. Due to it, the snake skillfully hides its long body in the surrounding sands. Just think, what chance do people or other animals have to find a yellow Taipan in the sand? That's a needle in a haystack. However, that's not what makes it so dangerous. In fact, McCoy's Taipan is the most venomous land snake in the world. Although there are no known fatal cases against humans, there is definitely no chance of survival in such an encounter. After all, just one dose of this terrible taipan is enough to mow down 250,000 mice. If you transfer this concentration to humans, the same bite would be enough to deal with 100 adult and healthy men. Purely in theory, once the toxin is injected, the victim's heart will stop within 30 minutes. I can't imagine what would happen if that snake hunted humans. Fortunately for us, it doesn't. McCoy's Taipan prefers to lead a rather passive and secretive lifestyle. It contends with various small rodents. They'll definitely not run away from it. Well, everyone has heard of this beauty. Even those far from the world of animals know about the severity and danger of the anaconda. No matter how you look at it, it's the most massive snake in the world. At the same time, there's a lot of information that someone met even 26 or 33 foot long specimens. Unlike the Taipan that furrows deserts, Anaconda, due to its huge size, prefers to live in the water. There you don't need to strain to move such a heavy body. What's more, the prey is easier to catch. Small reptiles, birds, various mammals, no one will escape. Like all boa constrictors, anacondas wait for their prey motionless, lying in one place. When it comes close, the snake grabs it with a lightning-quick throw and strangles, coiling its body around. In the past, people liked to say that this way, anaconda squeezes its enemy and breaks his bones. In fact, the snake does not pursue such purposes. The animal doesn't want to waste its energy for that. Anaconda squeezes the enemy only so that he couldn't breathe and stops resisting soon. As soon as the victim of the snake stops kicking, the snake swallows him alive. There are many instances in history where these reptiles swallowed prey only slightly inferior to themselves in size and weight. Seems silly to us. Why would they stretch their stomachs and allow someone so big? But snakes have their own way of looking at it. They may not eat for weeks after such a feast. That makes their life even easier. We've talked about the most massive snake, so it's time to consider the longest. Yes, these are different things. In this nomination, the reticulated python will be the unequivocal winner. This non-poisonous snake from Asia got its name from the unusual and complex coloration on the body. It includes a chain of light diamond-shaped spots in the middle of the back and triangular interconnected dark spots with light centers on the sides. There are numerous legends regarding the python. Many of them state that there are 33-foot-long specimens crawling around the world. Nevertheless, these stories are not reliable as with Anaconda. At least, no one has been able to confirm them yet. At the same time, people can confidently declare the existence of 23-foot-long reticulated pythons. They can attack humans and even swallow them. We are smaller than these reptiles and do not pose any danger to them. That's why the pythons attack people. However, that happens rarely. In fact, pythons have very few dangerous enemies. Majorly, it's the python who shows initiative during the meeting. The animal spends a lot of time on the branches, somewhere upstairs, assessing the whole situation from above before attacking. Also, these snakes can often be found near the coastline. They're excellent swimmers. Sometimes they're not afraid to hunt below water. 
they do not have any large bones, therefore most of the body weight falls on powerful, in other words, steel muscles. With their help, the python can easily strangle a small deer, pig, or goat. Doesn't matter how well the potential victim can hide. Thermal locators allow them to capture infrared radiation and attack the prey at odd hours, even at night. Despite the fact that the black mamba isn't ranked first among most dangerous snakes, it's rightfully considered one of the most terrible snakes on the planet. This crawler from Africa is very venomous and at the same time aggressive. By the way, in some domains it's still a leader. Perhaps it's the fastest snake in the world at short distances. This way, it develops a speed up to 12 miles per hour. However, it's not yet fully known whether the mamba is definitely the fastest or there's another candidate for this title. Looking at it once, it may seem that the black mamba is always smiling and doesn't want to do harm to anyone, but this is just a misconception. In fact, the snake is eager to attack someone stealthily and show all she's capable of. Encounters with this snake are unfortunately not as rare as it's diurnal. Some of you think it's easy to spot a black snake in the sunlight. Well, it would be so if it were actually black in color. In fact, it's only the inside of its mouth that's black. This is a kind of warning signal that you should expect the worst if you fail to escape the snake's teeth. They say a frightening fate awaits every bitten person. His temperature rises, causing fever, dizziness, and muscle paralysis. Sooner or later, that affects the respiratory system, leading to suffocation and cardiac arrest. Land is not the natural habitat for all snakes. On the contrary, many prefer to swim in water. In this environment, they pump their venom to the maximum and at the same time learn to stealthily and effectively attack even the strongest enemies. One such crawler is the Dubois sea snake. You can meet it while snorkeling in the coastal waters of Papua New Guinea in the northern, eastern, and western regions of Australia. This is where these snakes are most commonly found. Divers will have to dive to a depth of 30 meters and look for the snake somewhere among the corals. There, the snakes raven on fish and eels they consider their potential food. Due to their aquatic lifestyle, the sea snakes look slightly different from the land ones. Their usual length is about 3 feet. Sometimes you can meet 5-foot-long specimens. Anyway, this is more of the exception than the rule. Our snake has a pale brown color and is decorated with transverse spots on the back and sides. By the way, you may wonder how snakes breathe underwater. It's unlikely that they're constantly swimming somewhere near the surface of the water and take a breath of fresh air every 5 to 10 seconds, right? That's true. In fact, these sea snakes have special lungs. The right lung is many times larger than the left one and serves as a sort of air bladder for the snake. When submerged underwater, the snake's nasal openings are closed with special valves to prevent water from entering the lung. Thanks to this, the predator can safely swim underwater as long as it needs and wait for the perfect moment to attack. Making a jerk towards the enemy, the Dubois snake injects its strongest venom into him, suppressing all the impulses responsible for breathing. The victim ends up with a fatal paralysis. If you ask me, I've learned about this one just recently. As zoologists say, it's a rather modest crawler that grows not more than a meter long. However small this animal was, its appetite is not bad. It's the African egg-eating snake that's called the most voracious snake in the world. It can swallow a prey five times larger than itself. It does this with a wide-open mouth provided with movable bones. People have studied the structure of its skull and found that the snake can open its mouth three to four times wider than other crawlers. Scientists are yet to find out why the snake needs such a skill. According to one of the theories, the feature was developed in the evolutionary process. It's not just snakes that have the ability to cause fear to the entire animal kingdom. Other reptiles shouldn't be forgotten either. The Komodo dragon definitely stands out among all other dangerous reptiles. This lizard is considered to be the largest living lizard and at the same time the heaviest among the scaly ones. This unique animal swims perfectly, runs incredibly fast, has a first-class sense of smell, and at the same time is poisonous. One bite of such a monster can send you to glory. However, its victim is most likely to die of blood loss. No one wants to argue with such a strong animal. 
This way, those are only other Komodo dragons that feed on their brethren in nature. Cannibalism is a matter of fact for them. The only option how you can save yourself from the attack of this creature is to run away from it as long and fast as possible. The fact that Komodo dragons are cold-blooded animals means their stamina is poor. Although they accelerate up to 12 miles per hour, they can maintain this pace only for a while. Then the speed drops significantly. Therefore, the hunting style of the dragon looks as follows. The animal runs out of the bushes, catches up with its prey, and bites it at the tendon so that it couldn't quickly escape. Frankly speaking, one bite is enough for the prey to stop moving at all. The thing is that the Komodo dragon has 60 serrated teeth, each of them up to an inch long. This is the name of another extremely curious lizard you'd better never contact with. Ostensibly, it does not turn enemies into flight. The fact is that its venom is lethal to many animals. Just a tiny concentration of it is enough to knock out a large guard dog. What's a dog? A human would also get enough, though it wouldn't be fatal. The maximum length of the Gila monster is 24 inches. It can weigh up to 4 pounds. What's curious, almost a third of the entire length goes to the tail of the animal. There, its most important fat reserves are stored. The coloring of the monster is quite bright, that's a joy to see. Mother Nature seems to warn everybody that they'd better not mess with the animal. The only good thing is that its diet doesn't include humans. It usually eats eggs, but can also feed on birds or some other reptiles. The massive food the adult reptile can absorb in one meal reaches up to 35% of its body weight. Thanks to this peculiarity, it eats not more than 10 times a year. The Tuatara is the only modern representative of the ancient beaked Rhynchocephalia endemic to New England. It looks like a large iguana, but in fact has nothing similar in structure to it. The average size of this monster reaches 30 inches. It weighs about a kilogram. Yes, there's nothing to brag about. At the same time, Tuatara lives more than 100 years. Yes, they develop throughout their lives. The older Tuatara, the larger it is. These reptiles don't seem to waste any time. For such a long period of life, Tuatara lets a third eye grow that regulates its body temperature. By the way, these creatures also use it to orientate themselves in space when it's dark. I would definitely put this reptile at the top of the list for the ability to camouflage that's vital in the wild. It's actually strange why these geckos don't live for ages. Their lifespan doesn't usually exceed 10 years. Despite this, I still believe that when they hit 10, they gain even more camouflaging skills and disappear from people's radar. In addition, these remarkable animals also boast sharp vision. The geckos can see in the darkness 350 times better than humans. Their body has a flattened shape. The animals almost scrape the bark with their bellies when walking on a tree. This helps them to become nearly invisible and not to cast a shadow, not to be detected by predators. But if someone does find one, the fantastic gecko opens its mouth with all its might and sticks out its tongue, hoping to chase away the enemies. Now I'll tell you about not less dangerous cases with the snakes. Taxi Driver Snake Often, people do not want to have snakes in their homes, not because they themselves are afraid of these creatures, but because they're worried about the condition of their other pets, dogs, cats, or little chickens. But it turns out that if you get a snake used to the environment and constantly keep it fed, it will not harm any of them. What's more, it'll happily play with them. For example, the snake in this video played cab driver with a chick. It asked for a place to take it, and the snake fulfilled the order. I think it was funny and unusual. In general, snakes are almost the best pets. Who else will be able to close your door so abruptly and securely and not let strangers through it? Imagine if snakes could assume such a position on command or in the snap of a finger. It'd be super cool. Even I, as the main non-snake lover, would buy a slithering creature that could do something like that. We're resting. Oh, what a cute picture. A girl is sleeping in the middle of the day because she's very tired and her favorite pet is resting under the blanket with her. A giant, very terrifying snake. That's some forbearance and self-confidence this lady has. Would you be able to sleep with a snake on your lap like that? I mean, even if it was my pet, I wouldn't do this. 
You never know what they can do. Besides, they're heavy. And in this clip, you can see what real terror looks like in the flesh of our childhood. These are small cobras, the very creatures that, as they grow up, will turn into huge monsters known for their venomousness and specific manner of inflating their hood. By the way, do you know which cobra is the biggest among cobras? That's right, the king cobra. It's also interesting because it feeds on other snakes, including venomous ones. When it encounters its congeners, it compares height, finding out which snake is stronger and more dangerous. It's understandable, fighting with congeners just for nothing when everyone is fed makes no sense. But it's not always limited to this. Sometimes king cobras greedily devour their own congeners. That's why everyone should be worried when encountering the king cobra. With one bite, it can even knock down an elephant, let alone us, ordinary people. Okay, let's not talk about the bad stuff. I suggest you check out one incredibly cute and funny trick performed by the snake in the following video. It's very coolly folded and as if waiting for the moment when the man behind the camera said, that's it, I took a picture, you can relax. Can I join you? This is how the snake in this video that magically stuck to the car door was asking people. Of course, it wasn't a creeping creature from the human family, so no one was happy about it. Rather, the opposite. People were screaming and remembering all the swear words they know. That's how unforgettable emotions were brought to them by just one cute snake. What is surprising, it was behind the glass of the car all this time, and people were already nervous. Imagine what could have happened if it had crawled inside. Unfortunately, or fortunately, no one will ever know. The driver made the right decision to stop and drag the snake away from the cabin, not only for his own safety, but also for the snake's safety. Although it didn't let the man to do it right away, the daredevils eventually pulled it aside and drove away, returning the creature to its native environment. They say that if you are as quiet as the grave, no one will say a word to you. Well, that's not true. The snake in this video was behaving perfectly, just without any complaints, when suddenly people got to it and made it get out of the house. Yes, even though it didn't live here, even though it was over three and a half feet long and potentially dangerous, it was kind at heart. I'm not a monster. It just wanted to read a book at night and calm down a bit. But people didn't let it catch its breath, and they didn't let it finish the book either. Come on, people. Catch. And here's another snake that's acting kind of calm, but maybe that's just its style. It behaves calmly and it seems that nothing portends trouble. Your consciousness is clouded because you're sure that the snake is small. But if you look outside the window and look at the torso, everything falls into place at once. It turns out that the snake is not small, but just incredibly long. Who knows what such a huge creature snake can do? Now I'll tell you about animal record breakers. The Groot Slang is one of the most dangerous and venomous snakes in Africa. It got its name because of its unusual appearance. The snake's head was mixed with an elephant's head and its body's covered with green, oily scales. Because of this, it's called the Sewer Snake or Great Snake. The Groot Slang is very cunning and can camouflage itself well, which makes it dangerous to humans. It has very powerful venom that's fast-acting and can be deadly to humans. Some people even consider it to be the most dangerous snake in Africa. It was so in the past. According to a legend associated with the character named John Henry, who was convicted of a crime and sentenced to death before the master of the priesthood could save him, John saw the mysterious Groot Slang snake slithering around his prison cell. The snake, John claimed, spoke to him and constantly urged him to escape. It quickly became his only friend, and John was able to run away with it, taking all the risks into account. Finally, after listening to the creeping one, he managed to escape from prison and then escape thanks to the master of the priesthood. Since then, many people in Africa believe that seeing the Groot Slang Snake is a sign that their lives will change for the better. It also became a symbol of wisdom and protection, and its image was even used on the coat of arms of some African states. In an attempt to find their happiness, people have sent their own expeditions many times, but they didn't bring any results. It's believed that of the huge number of snakes that existed in the past, only one has survived to this day, hiding in a cave, and those who come to it will meet their doom. We're not done with legends for today. 
Our next creature, which will be discussed, is the basis of the Kraken legends. It's about an abnormally large squid found in Japan. Usually, these cephalopods are about 20 inches long and weigh up to 14 ounces. But the found individual exceeds 8.2 feet in length. It's very difficult to encounter such a monster of the depths. The fact is that usually such large creatures live at great depths and are almost inaccessible to humans. In Japan, the giant itself came to the surface. The reason for this behavior remains unknown. In addition to the fact that these squids live at a depth of up to a thousand feet or more, they are also quite aggressive. They rarely let strangers near them, especially if they are people. People will have the opportunity to study this genus of creatures properly only in the future, when technologies reach the appropriate level for diving and exploring creatures from the bottom of the seas and oceans. The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard species in existence and is only found on a few Indonesian islands. These animals can reach a length of over 13 feet and weigh more than 285 pounds. One of the main reasons why Komodo dragons are hard to find is their ability to camouflage and hide from humans. They spend most of their lives in the wilds, under trees, or in caves while communicating with each other. In this way, they can provide information about intruders and skillfully avoid contacts with humans that they are not interested in. Moreover, Komodo dragons have such a clearly organized social component that they know how to share food with loved ones. At the dinner table, only the oldest members of the family have the right to be the first to eat. Those of the young ones will try to push ahead of the queue in a brazen way, will be struck by a powerful scaly tail. And if you take into account that at a time an adult can eat several tens of kilograms of meat, the young rarely get anything, therefore they are forced to go hunting and look for food themselves. It's worth noting that they manage to do this without much difficulty. They can instantly develop a speed of almost 12 miles per hour, have large size, incredible strength contained in their tail and teeth. Besides, Komodo dragons are famous for intelligence and first-class hunting tactics. Who said whales have to be giants? Mother Nature proves otherwise and brings the pygmy right whale to our attention. For a long time, this whale species was considered completely extinct until it beached itself in New Zealand in 2012. Unfortunately, it did not become real to encounter this whale more often because of this. It's still an insanely rare and unique find that not everyone gets to see. The reason is that whales of this species release two small fountains and jump out of the water for only a few seconds. Therefore, the way of life of these mammals is almost not studied. It's only known that a quarter of the body length of the pygmy right whale is occupied by a weighty head and the total length of the animal is quite small compared to its larger relatives, only 13 to 20 feet. The pygmy right whale lives mainly in the seas of the southern hemisphere. Most often, it can be found near the coasts of South Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. The main features of this species is its curved nose. Because of this, the whale's face always looks as if it's frowning and dissatisfied with something. But in fact, this facial expression only means that pygmy right whales are related to bowhead whales. Sperm whales are unique whales that differ from the rest not only in terms of their form, but also in the presence of teeth and the principle of life activity. If a sperm whale was shown to some ancient people, they would definitely consider it a boogeyman from fairy tales or a deity. And indeed, it is quite problematic to believe that a 66-foot long whale weighing about 88,000 pounds swims in the water. The tooth giant is especially distinguished from the rest by its predominantly large head. It's huge and voracious. It's not uncommon to find the bodies of large fish and bunch of plankton in it. The lower jaw, studded with teeth, is shorter and narrower. Such an unusually slotted mouth gives the sperm whale a strange facial expression. It seems that the sea monster is smiling. The eyes of the sperm whale are located where, according to the laws of proportion, the neck should be. One of the main reasons why it's almost impossible for people to encounter these creatures is their habit of spending most of their time at a depth of up to 1.2 miles where they're looking for their food squid and fish. The second reason for the difficulty in finding sperm whales is that they're very fearful and cautious animals that can quickly escape to deeper water if threatened. Speaking of escape, here's an interesting fact for you. These creatures have the biggest brain of any animal on the planet. Despite this, they're not considered the smartest creatures. 
Sperm whales have a very advanced navigation and echolocation apparatus that allows them to find their food at great depths. Sperm whales are also one of the few animals that use the clicks made by their sinuses to transmit information to each other over long distances. In different languages, this creature has a bunch of different names. Despite this, they all have one thing in common. The peoples of the North and Siberia, as a sign of respect, call the polar bear their elder relative, the grandfather. And they not only call them, but consider them as such. They refuse to call the bear the polar bear for fear of offending it. It feels like they see it in every day and have already invented ways to communicate with polar bears. But things are a little different here. On the contrary, people living in the north encounter polar bears very rarely. The fact is that they live in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, which makes the animals extremely difficult to access not only ordinary people, but also for scientists. Harsh climatic conditions do not allow studying polar bears properly, so they remain a mystery even to this day. Of the interesting things that people still manage to learn at the moment is that all of these bears are left-handed and their fur is actually not white but transparent due to the fact that the fur is completely devoid of pigment and its structure resembles a hollow bulb, the bear can change color. In summer, its fur may turn slightly yellow under the influence of sunlight and in zoos located in countries with hot climates, it may turn green. This is due to the fact that in warm water, blue-green algae proliferate rapidly. They live inside the hair and color the fur green. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, is the largest of all tiger subspecies. These powerful predators can weigh up to 660 pounds, and their length with tail can reach 10 feet. Unfortunately, these tigers are currently under serious threat and are becoming extinct. The main reason for the Siberian tiger's rarity lies in the exorbitant hunting for them in the past, as well as the destruction of their natural habitat. Today, thanks to the efforts of government and other organizations, the Siberian tiger population is increasing. But the subspecies is still threatened and in need of additional protection. Surprisingly, despite the fact that people have been able to find and successfully hunt these creatures in the past, Siberian tigers themselves are quite secretive and cautious. They always sleep and hunt, avoiding contact with people. Along with this, they can definitely be categorized as social animals. They spend a lot of time with their young and sometimes form families in which they live and hunt together. In addition to such a problem as humans, Siberian tigers also face a shortage of prey in the wild. Also, these creatures have a completely unique coloration. The stripes of each Siberian tiger are unique. That's all, guys. What's the rarest animal you've ever encountered? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.